Hey, what is going on guys? Nathan here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a pickups video. Um, if you guys have been following the channel for a couple videos now, you guys probably know that um, the way I started doing pickups videos on this channel was that every single time I would go out hunting, I would post a video. But I decided that's just kind of too much. So I'm going to be doing pickups videos at the end of every month from now on. So it's going to be like less videos, or less pickups videos, but it's more structured if that makes any sense. And it's a lot more pickups per video. So um, yeah, so the month of June just ended. Uh, it is currently 4th of July. So if you guys are watching this on 4th of July, happy 4th to you guys. Um, but yeah, so pickups for June. So uh, honestly, June was probably the best month for pickups of 2020 because if you guys don't know Corona and all that mess has really been um, killing pickups. So I really, I really haven't been hunting a lot uh, this year, which kind of sucks. But usually, you know, compared to what I have now, um, if it was June last year, oh man, I would have literally had a trunk full of stuff and probably more than that. So anyways, um, I picked up some good stuff. Uh, let's start off with the video games themselves and then we'll get into some of the more collectible stuff like Legos and stuff like that. So um, let's start off with PS3 games. The first thing I picked up is the Golden Compass on PS3. Um, I think it's based on a movie, not 100% too sure. Uh, yeah. It's it's the old school PS3, you know, sideways, so I don't know if it has trophy support, but hopefully it does. And it looks like the guy that played James Bond is in there, so pretty cool. Picked up Assassin's Creed Revelations. Um, it actually has a copy of Assassin's Creed 1 built into it, so um, this next pickup is kind of worthless. Um, but, you know, I'm a collector, so I don't mind. And what I mean by that is I picked up Assassin's Creed 1 as well. Um, and... If you guys don't know, a lot of these things are like red labels, so this one is the white uh, or the black label, so pretty cool. Uh, murdered, ow, okay. Murdered Soul Suspect, um, great mystery. It's kind of like it's not really a horror game, but it's it's a really cool game. It's like you get shot or you get murdered, and you kind of figure out who your murderer is. I actually had this on the PS4 as well, um, but definitely a cool game. You guys should definitely check that out if you guys have a PS3 or PS4, and. Persona 5 on the PS3. I have it on PS4, but now I have it on PS3 as well. So those are the PS3 games. I can almost guarantee I'm going to forget something. Um, and then I'm going to remember as soon as this video is over. Um, but uh, moving on, my only Xbox One game I picked up. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Deluxe Edition. It's uh, pretty much, let's see what it comes with. Uh, it comes with the actual game book itself. It comes with... Also the steel book and the art book and a collectible pin, if you guys can see that pin right there. So the reason I picked this up, I actually wanted this really badly on the PS4, but the reason I picked it up on Xbox was because I was at Target the other day and it was on clearance for $19.99. So if you guys don't know, this is like a $50 um, collector's edition, so that was pretty cool. So definitely happy about that. Moving on to PS4 games. Couple, couple decent PS4 game finds. Let's start off with the best one, Yakuza Kiwami. I think that's how you say it. Collector's Edition, and this is the Steel Book. So I found this on clearance for seven dollars at Walmart. So really cool find. Next up, finally picked up a copy of Battlefield One. I already have this, but I don't have a physical, so now I have a physical copy of Battlefield One. Same thing with Destiny Two. Uh, I never had a physical copy, and now I do have a physical copy. These things are like a dollar. Same thing with Battlefield 1. These games are pretty much worthless. They're like a dollar something cents, but yeah. Um, nice to have in the collection. SOCOM 2. This was on sale for, this was on clearance for $3 at Walmart. Brand new. Uh, Bulletstorm Full Clip Edition. This was on clearance for $6 or $7 at Walmart. And finally, uh, Borderlands Game of the Year Edition. Now. Here's one th I like GameStop. It's going to really suck when they go out of business if they do end up going out of business. But here's one thing I don't like about them. The fact that they sell these new games. Um, but th this thing was literally sitting on the shelf with like 100 stickers on them. And all they do is just slap like a little thing over it and call it new. This is not a new game, guys. Like, sure, the disc might not have been used, but I don't care. Look at the case. It's scratched up as hell. So I really don't like when GameStop does that. It really pisses me off. But... Anyways, moving on to the last set of games, uh, Wii games. So, uh, Destroy All Humans, 
Uh, Big Willy Unleashed. I had no idea there was a Destroy All Humans game on the Wii, so that's really cool. Um, I might have shown this uh, at the beginning of the month, but uh, Benton Galactic Racing. Um, it's a Cartoon Network game, and you guys know me, I like uh, show-based games, so there we go. And uh, Legend of Zelda Skyward Swords. Uh, found this for five bucks. Pretty cool. Next up, uh, let's show off oops, some DVDs I got from the dollar store. Superman, uh, Super Villains. Uh, the Superman from, I think this is from like the 70s or the 80s. It's got like 17 different episodes. And last one, this is pretty cool actually. Uh, Batman Superman Apocalypse double feature. Cool stuff. It's like a double disc set as well, so. Nice. Yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, this one you guys might have seen in my um, game room tour. The Yawk uh, PS1 Classic Wireless Controller. This is on clearance for $7 at GameStop. Dope controller. The buttons are a little mushy, but if you guys are looking for a wireless controller for your PS1 Classic, it's, it's a pretty good and cheap option. Um, on the note of Destiny, since I showed Destiny 2, I found this brand new on clearance for 80 cents. It's a Destiny 200 piece puzzle. It, the artwork's pretty cool, as you guys can see. It's pretty cool, so why not? Maybe if I'm bored, I'll just pop on a movie and just build this, because why not? Um, I picked up a copy of uh, last month's Game Informer. I haven't been keeping up with a lot of the recent games. It says Wasteland 3. I don't know what that game is because I haven't been, like I said, I haven't been keeping up with games recently, but yeah, there's that. Um, let's get into some of the Legos. Let's start off with the bootleg Legos. Um, I call them boot Legos for short. So Star Pioneer, this was uh, 99 cents. It was it 99 cents? Something like that, I forget. But uh, yep, got that. And then this one was a pretty good find. Uh, Minecraft, this is on clearance. Or I forget how much I paid for it. Pretty cool find. I already built it. Um, moving on, that is all the Legos. Uh, I got this Yokai Watch watch. I don't watch Yokai Watch. Uh, to be honest, this looks like a fake ass Omnitrix from Ben 10 or something. I have no clue. It looks like there's like collectible discs you guys can get, and then you guys can put it on the watch, and it has like commands or plays music, and it says music, phrases, and sounds. This was like $1.99 or like $2.99, something like that. Um, next up, let's talk about the figures. We're almost done. Um, picked up some, this set of three Spyro Trilogy figures. Uh, Totaku figures. I always like Totaku figures. Um, they're pretty high quality and they look really nice. Like they're pretty detailed, unlike the, the mini metal figs. They're not really detailed, but these are pretty, pretty detailed. Um, if you guys watched my pickups video from like November on my main channel, I did like a summon skull. Uh, I showcased that, and yeah, so uh, I really like their figures. Moving on, oops. Moving on. If you guys remember back to Borderlands 3's world reveal, um, I think they showed off some new figures that were trying to compete with like um, Funko Pops called Tubs. So I picked up two Tubs. Um, on clearance, there were $2.99, $2.99 or $3.99. I picked up uh, Borderlands 3 Moxie right here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. There, if there are a total of four of them for Borderlands 3. There is the Psycho, there is Lilith, um, as my sprayer goes off right there. Tina and Moxie. So, got that and of course got Tina right here. These are actually really high quality. Um, and they feel heftier than Funko's, so uh, pretty cool stuff right there. It's, it's just a shame that they're not, you know, they didn't take off. But they made quite a few of them. Uh, the Kratos one looks pretty cool, one day maybe I'll get that. And moving on to some Funko's, um, Aquaman, Mira, and we're, we're getting there with the uh, Fallout collection. We got the Excavator Armor, which is an E3 2019 limited edition, so cool stuff right there and probably the best find of this month and also the last find of the, no no actually there's let me let me go ahead and talk about these Skylanders so I picked up an entire uh, 
thing of Skylanders. They're, 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 I picked up a bunch of Skylanders, basically. A bundle. And also some Disney Infinity figures. But let me just show you guys some of the favorites. Um, so this, as I showed in my game room tour, is my favorite. Uh, it has to be my favorite looking Skylanders. Look, just look at how big it is and look at how dope it looks. So it's just sitting over here. Um, some other ones, I picked up the uh, Incredibles uh, Disney Infinity figures. I'll just put them down here so they don't fall off. Some Pirates of the Caribbean ones. I forgot what their names are, but yeah. And some Monsters, Inc. We got Sully and Mike Wazowski. And finally, the best find for $39.99, um, a Fatboy PS3. Um, I gave my last Fatboy to Zeke. Uh, so when I saw this, I'm like, yep. This is in dang near mint condition. There's only just a few scratches on here. Uh, and when I saw this thing sitting on the shelf, I'm like, goodness, man. It looks like it's freaking mint. So uh, this is the 40 gigabyte thing. Uh, it, it only has 30 gigabytes available for use, 37 gigabytes. So I think it's probably a 40 gigabyte model or something like that. Um, and it came with all the hookups as well as two controllers. It came with a six axis and it came with a DualShock 3. They are still matte, so these things have barely been used. Um, but And it does work. It does work, guys. But surprisingly enough, uh, everything's been cleared on it. So I guess like maybe they found this in their closet and they're just like, I don't want it. And yeah, they just donated. So cool stuff. Um, yeah, definitely excited about picking this up. This is definitely going on my shelf to be shown. As a matter of fact, I might sell that. I do have another fat boy that doesn't work. I just might display that and sell this one because I need to be selling some stuff. The business has been pretty slow. But yeah, so that's the pickups for June, uh, the month of June. Hopefully July will be somewhat interesting. I don't think I'm going to be uh, hunting as much this month. So um, next month's pickups video might be pretty dull. But anyways, um, if you guys have not already checked out my game room tour, I just posted that a couple days ago, so make sure you guys check that out. A link in the description below, or you guys can check up uh, check out the card up above. Anyways, if you guys have any video ideas that you guys would like to see me do in the future, be sure to comment on Discord or my Instagram or Twitter, whatever you guys want to. Anyways, take care, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.